The computer hacker group Anonymous is claiming tonight that it took down the website of the Federal Appeals Court in San Francisco this afternoon. Visa, MasterCard, the PayPal situation. See, criminals who hacked into Sarah Palin's private email. No one, you know, in the general public really seems to get it. We've been called kids, we've been called cyber bullies, we've been called hooligans. I got called a terrorist sympathizer. There's unpatriotic. That we're just a bunch of children sitting in our parents' basement. Sometimes those words aren't entirely unfair, but this is a serious political movement. Anonymous kind of was like the big, strong, buff kid who had low self-esteem. And then all of a sudden, punched somebody in the face and was like, holy and I'm really strong. You are going to violate the freedoms of the internet. You certainly better watch the fuck out. They are kind of the rude boys of activism. There's a real rough edge to them. The hacker ethos has a passion for truth. It, it wants what's real to be out there. And it uses kind of the Philip K. Dick definition of reality. And reality is that which, when you stop believing in it, refuses to go away. We stand for freedom. We stand for freedom of speech, the power of the people, the ability for them to protest against the government. No censorship, especially online, but also in real life. It's a one voice. It's, it's not individual voices. That's why we don't show our faces. That's why we don't give our names. We're speaking as one, and it's a collective. Good time. What I'm facing is a felony. 15 years in federal prison and a $250,000 fine. I will not support broad theft of, of, of information released to the public, because that's nothing but destructive. He had betrayed the collective. It devastated everyone that he had touched. And maybe it's time for a new law. If I get the chance to do that, then so be it. And if 14 other people that are with me get a chance to do it, and so be it. You want to see Anonymous rise up? Try to shut down the message. Try to chill our speech. Then you'll see what Anonymous can do. Whether they had a tiny, tiny part, or they had a, a substantive part in the Arab Spring or toppling a Tunisia and Egyptian governments, individual, young, nameless, faceless folks are having geopolitical impact. It's both exhilarating to realize that and terrifying to realize that. It kind of depends on how that power is wielded.